What's going on YouTube? Been a while since my last video, but we're going to jump right into this new topic for today. Does your team struggle with low quality software, sometimes ending up in production, causing any kind of issues for your customers or clients? If so, then this video will help you solve a majority of that issue. If not, this video may also help you increase the quality of the software you push into production in other ways. In this video, we're going to discuss how to set up and configure Code Climate and GitHub to enforce a standard of code quality that has to pass tests before it is able to be merged into the production code. Let's get you releasing higher quality software in no time. But before we begin, I just want to say to anyone who isn't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and hit that little bell icon so you can get notified of any new videos that I post to YouTube. That really helps also improve the rankings on YouTube, which also helps other people looking for similar solutions to find this video as well. Let's get into the video. Code Climate has been around a few years now and is one of the multiple companies in this space of code quality DevOps tools. It helps to enforce high quality code by running multiple checks each time a pull request is created to merge into specific branches in your GitHub repositories. You can configure it in different ways to block any merges into production code if certain checks fail. You can configure as many branches as you want. Each project in Code Climate maps to one GitHub branch. So if you want to put checks on more than one branch, you will have to to set up multiple code climate projects where each code climate project maps to one GitHub branch. Many of the main quality checks that are standard in Code Climate are most of the core issues plaguing low quality software. Each one of these can be enabled or disabled if desired, as well as customized to a certain extent to fulfill the standards you or your team wish to adhere to. But in order to customize the properties for each specific check, you will need to utilize the config file option discussed next. Customized options aren't available via the UI. The UI only gives you the standard checks that can be enabled or disabled by default. As far as the configuration file option discussed earlier, the configuration file options that you have available are shown here on Code Climate's website. They show which default maintainability checks and plugins have customizable options and what those options are. Also, it shows the order of precedence between configuration files and the UI settings. This allows you to set some settings via the UI and override them if desired in the configuration files. You can also add additional plugins if you want to have additional checks ran against your code on each run. As you can see from this list, there are various linters for different languages, as well as specialized plugins such as Git Legal and Fix Me. Just as with the built-in maintainability checks discussed previously, you can enable these in the UI if you are fine with standard options for the plugin. If you desire more customized properties, you will need to utilize the config file option once again, which was just discussed previously. Unlike the built-in checks, there are no plugins plugins that are enabled by default, you will need to enable each plugin you wish to be a part of your code quality verification process. One really important step of ensuring code quality is to thoroughly test as much of your code as possible. The way to do this is to utilize packages for unit testing and code coverage for your specific language your project uses. If you do not write any unit tests for your code, you most definitely aren't verifying your code is high quality. If you are writing unit tests, that's great and a best practice, but how do you know your tests are covering the majority of all cases your code is able to run? All those branches and loops in your code should be covered by one or more tests. When you you run code coverage tools, your desired code coverage percentage should aim to be somewhere between 90 and 100%. Granted, 100% code coverage is almost impossible to achieve, but that's the goal you should be striving for. With Code Climate, you can run these code coverage tools for each of your builds and upload the results to Code Climate to be analyzed. With certain settings applied to your GitHub repos branch protect settings discussed here shortly, you could block merging of code into production code bases if the code coverage does not meet certain thresholds. This makes sure any new code that is added to a code base has proper tests written for them. If tests are not written for new code, Code Climate can block the PR from being merged into the production code base. There are multiple integrations available for Code Climate as shown here. You can have Code Climate send notifications of results to multiple chat applications as well as creating new issues in GitHub, Asana, Jira, and others whenever Code Climate finds new issues in your code base. 
Now for the part of all this process that will enforce the quality of the code to meet a specified threshold before being merged into production code bases. You can see here that there are a few GitHub integration settings we can enable and configure. These are the settings that are on the code climate side of enforcing the desired quality checks. Summary comments will add a comment to a GitHub PR showing the status of the maintainability checks for this commit. You can choose to replace any existing commits previously posted, update the existing one, or post only the first time a build is ran after the PR is created. Inline issue comments will add inline comments to specific lines of code that have issues listed in the summary comment. This will help you better pinpoint exactly what issues need to be dealt with and where exactly they are. The most important setting that will allow for enforcement of these checks is the pull request status update. We need to enable this setting so that the results of the quality checks can be reported back to the GitHub PR. If the status fails and we have the GitHub side of the setup configured, which we'll cover next, it will block the PR from being approved and merged. For the last step, we need to go to your GitHub repo, click on settings, then click on branches in the left column, type in the branch name or pattern you want to enforce these quality checks for, then select require pull request before merging. Also select require status checks to pass before merging. And under that, we need to select require branches to be up to date before merging. You can select code climate status check if available. If not, you will need to push a commit to your repo after setting these initial settings to trigger a build to populate the status check for code climate. Select include administrators, then click create. You should now have a fully configured setup to be able to enforce whatever checks you wish to have in place before allowing code into production code bases. If you got any bit of fit from this video, many others probably would as well, so hit that like button so YouTube will be more likely to suggest this video to others searching for a similar solution to you. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.